listen to the pros who've built great brands, they're typically about three things. Number one, your product. Your product's the most important thing you have. Two, people. Last, storytelling. So this is the interactive part of my presentation. I'll ask a quick question, all right? Which one's most important? And I'm really asking, so I want someone to tell me, scream, shout, raise your hand. Storytelling. Any other votes? Storytelling. Thank you. So storytelling is important, but who tells the stories? The people, okay? Who builds the product? The people. And as much as those other two things are super critical, I always start with people. And people are the thing that when we worked at, when we started building our team at Beats, um, here's my team. Um, black, white, Asian, Hispanic, purple hair, blue hair, no hair, tattoos. Um, we had everything. And what that meant emotionally is that we covered the world of consumers, what consumers cared about. I don't like cats, but there was somebody on my team who loved cats. There's, I like some, there's random genres of music I like, but there was one person on my team that loved even the most abstract genre. We had someone on the team who did it. And by building a team that's diverse, you'll start to see how it played out from a marketing perspective. Next thing was our product. I'm not going to talk too much about this, but obviously I think we made a beautiful product. It wasn't just the product. Think about the packaging. Think about the feel. Think about the fact that we didn't make our headphones just black and silver and brown. We made them red. We made them pink. We made them orange. We made them purple. So there's women who bought amazing purses and bought a pair of headphones that matched their purse. But when you think about the product itself, the loudest thing that we've ever done marketing-wise is this product. Because this is the thing you see. When you're walking in the airport, that's what you see. You don't see the ads, you don't see social media, you see the product itself. And the last piece is, the last piece is storytelling. So storytelling is super important. But when I say storytelling, it's not about ads and spending money. It's about what I call owned and earned media, which goes back to your people, what your salespeople say, what they wear, how they dress, do they tuck their shirts in, do they not? All of these things are part of your brand. Your website, your social media, those are obvious. The social media and websites of your employees, not so obvious. All part of your brand as you get to build your brand out. You think about founders and your founder stores. Which, so I created a few rules. I'm gonna get through these rules really quickly and I'm gonna get to the work. I'm gonna get to these things I'm telling you I've never bought outside of the building, part one, part two. I want you to understand um, these aren't just ads. I'm going to show you some of the recaps and what came from it. So I created some rules once I focused on those three things. And the rules were very simple. Product is king. Everybody in the company had to know about the product, care about the product, covet the product. We've never, perfect example, we would never do a gift bag where we stuff our products in bags. We had a habit of whenever we gave you a pair of headphones, we'd give it to you hand to hand, eye to eye. I'm not saying every one of your products can do that. Find those opportunities because with those opportunities, you create a real connection with people. But product was always king. We said we're always young. It didn't mean we hired young. It just meant that we all felt the spirit of youth as we did things. And that spirit of youth was in us every day. We want to always be authentic. We live in the information age, people. So if you're not authentic, your consumers are going to find out pretty quick. We looked at ourselves as leaders every day. This is a Jedi mind trick. We weren't always leaders. We were number 17 in the category. Now we're number one in over 30, 40, 50 countries. But we said we we're going to be the leader. We became the leader. We lived the connection. How do you get your employees living what your consumers are living? How do you get your employees living and doing the things that drive your business? Not being in an office, sitting in front of a terminal every day. And we always thought about ourselves as moving culture. We didn't respond to culture. You'll hear cool marketing guys with purple sneakers talk about, oh, culture is cool. We tried to move culture. I'm going to show you a video around this commercial that we made. I'm, I'm probably sure you saw it. It was called I'm the Man. And I'm not going to show you the ad. I'm going to show you what happened because of the ad. Watch all of the free conversation that we got based on that video and based on the work that we did. Cue the video, please. He 
He went from trash talking thug to hero overnight. Who is the real Richard Sherman? I'm the man, I'm the man. I'm like, that That commercial is... It's great. It's a great commercial, because it says, block everything else out and focus on who you believe you are. So, a couple of watch outs as I close this up. Keep thinking about your products as you launch products, and make that the most important thing you do. Make sure you obsess about it. Make sure you think about what it feels like in consumers' hands. Get great people. I'm looking out. I want to see some more brown people. I want to see some more Hispanic people next time I come back. But think about how do you bring great people to this great state in addition to the great people that are already here. Storytelling. Storytelling won't be hard. I think the values of this state are really apparent in the people and the, story, the stories that you can come, come up with really represent, I think, a big part of where this country needs to be. Don't think that it takes big brands to tell stories. Every company can tell a story. Experiences will always be important. Consumer behavior, how do you inspire consumer behavior? How do you get your consumers to do things and inspire them to do the marketing on your behalf? Most of those videos you saw, 80 to 70, 80% of it were things that people did, that not our company did. How do you inspire that? And then lastly, how do you get free media, which is one of the best tricks in the world. So last thing before I leave, um, don't forget emotion. You know, I love these tech conferences because I think it brings together special people, but one thing happens a lot is that you tend to not think a lot about emotion. Emotion is the most important part of your story. Make sure you don't lose it.